start the lab now quickly log into the console with the incognito window you will get this type of link first of all copy the name of your chatbot open this link with the same incognito window scroll down and open this chat app now provide a name for your bot click on rename go back to the lab now copy this line of code again go back to the code.js on the line number 38 bring your cursor and press tab key on the keyboard this will ident the line correctly press ctrl plus v now save the code press ctrl plus s ok again go back copy the name of bot now switch to the console now go to API and services OAuth contest screen click on it click get started now paste the name of your application attendance bot user support choose the student ID click on next then choose the internal again click on next for the contact information again go back copy the email address paste next then agree to the terms and conditions continue and create ok now we will need a project number so go to cloud overview in the dashboard you will find the project number for your project copy this move to app script go to the settings scroll down to the bottom change project add your project number click on set the project now switch back to the console go to api services then to the library search for api google chat open the api by default it will be enabled click on manage you can cross this and go to the configuration section now we have to provide bunch of information from the lab so simply go back copy the application name and other details and quickly paste them in the desired columns check these two boxes choose the app script now for the deployment id switch to the app script go to the code click on deploy test deployments and you will see head deployment id copy this one and paste it in the deployment id again go back to the lab for the visibility we have to provide this email id and simply click on save save wait for couple of seconds once the configuration is saved go back again click on back and from the same configuration tab you will see this option live available to users make sure this is selected and click on save again ok now let's go back now we have to start a chat open this google chat with the same incognito window click on start a chat search for your bot open this type message hi now you can go back and check the progress for this task now scroll down now be careful for this task now copy the code and move to the code.js file go to the top and first of all remove everything from the line number 1 to line number 17 and paste the code that you copied click on the save button again go back to your chatbot type a message hit enter now you can go back and check the progress for this task now what we have to do copy this code provided in the lab go back to the editor and move to the line number 25 we have to remove everything from line number 25 to the line number 44 paste the code that you just copied now move to the bottom press enter 1 to 2 times again go back to the lab now we have to add more codes copy the next one Simply paste it again press enter 1 to 2 times go back to the lab copy the next code paste save the changes that you made go to the services 
now click on gmail api click add now copy this text again go to the google chat paste it hit enter click on configure now choose the gmail allow you can close this window and you will see this type of response click on set vacation in gmail now if you will open the gmail you will see this type of pop up at the top again go back to the chatbot click on block out day in the calendar now you can go back to the lab 